thing hard to steer without the uh, that stuff being on the front. So, <laughs> all right. So, and the kids are still fighting. Mater's upset. So we are going to drop this here and put the trailer on and then pick it back up again on the front. And that should be, uh, um, I think, all we need to really mow. So let's go ahead and pick this flippity thing up. It's still wiggling. Nice driving. And we're going to pick up the mowing piece. It's going to be hard to get like that. Uh, there we go. Happy mowing. I'm going to go mow in front of the neighbor's field. He'll love that. <laughs> All right. Because that's a nice straightaway there, so. <laughs> Actually, well, they're both my neighbor's fields. I do the one on the right. We'll start there. In the meanwhile, though, I need to check and see what's happening over on the other side of the world. Okay, he's still doing good. So, we are going to lower the mower. We're going to turn the mower on. This is going to be a nightmare because every time I have to go back to the other side. And we are going to lower the pickup. And we're going to turn the forge wagon on. What? What does that mean? Well, maybe I have to use the big tractor for this. Oh, because I'm using both the... Oh, who would have thought? Well, let's see what we can do. Um, I'll grab the other tractor. Wow, bummer. So we'll just... We'll, uh, let's see. V, we'll go up to the... We're going we're gonna to raise the pickup and we're going to switch to equipment. Raise the mower, and we're going to turn the mower off. And we're just going to back over here and pretend like this never happened. <laughs> all right, so we'll, I'll, I'll come back when I'm hooked up. So I've got all my tractors down here now because <laughs> it's my mower faux pas. All right, so this guy is now ready to pull the trailer. And I think the 190 horsepower trailer should have plenty of power to deal with the mowing out both ends so let's run him up to the field and we're going to do a little cross country to get there and that, unfortunately that harvester is going to need unloading pretty fast here doesn't give me much time so we'll pull him over there and then we'll warp ourselves back to the other tractor and unload that thing what a dud. <laughs> what an embarrassment. <laughs> uh, I was going to be smart there. and At least this, well, you know, this tractor matches all that equipment from a visible standpoint, from a colorful standpoint. <laughs> Everything in its right place. All right, so um, let's see if this works. Boop. And probably would help if I go back here and actually back up the right way. All right, let's see here. So we're gonna we're gonna lower the pickup. We're gonna turn on the forager. We're gonna lower the mower. We're gonna turn on the mower. Aha! This tractor has the... Oh, uh, look at that. How pretty is that? We're going to mow the grass and we're going to pick it up. Love it. No mess. No wind. No windrower necessary. This is a great idea. Wow. <laughs> Sweet. I wish they still had, there was a little mower, they sh I saw one of the guides online, there's like a little, almost like a club cadet, like a home mower that you could buy. It was like a golf, like golf court, cart, golf cart based. Oh, here's the downside, you gotta 
I should have carried on through straight. is that. Ooh, look, it's filling up. That's <laughs> so cool. It's little touches like that that make this game so neat, you know? He'll be all happy because I mowed his frontage. Unfortunately, mine is a little more difficult to mow because of all the trees. So we'll just work with these straight ones for now. Someday maybe I'll, they'll, they'll come out with a little mower. Alright, we gotta check that other guy. Yeah, I knew it. Oops, what am I doing? Nice driving there, Chuck. All right. All right, so I'm going to keep mowing here and I'm going to keep harvesting and uh, I'll pick you up here soon. You know, I'm going to have to look into it more, but I think you can actually silage these, this stuff, this, these grass leavings. So if I do that, I can also sell the silage. I sing the sorrow, I sell the silage. Uh, whenever they, you know, when the Euro, when the bio plant wants, when it wants biofuel or ecofuel or whatever, it uses silage. I could actually sell that, so... Um, you know, there's more than just feeding the sheep that this is good for. It's kind of cool. Looks like it's going to be a, a useful tool. Um, hopefully more so than all that bailing stuff. <laughs> now you'll notice I still have almost $100,000 left. Um, including maybe 25, and eh, maybe 30 or 40 of it came from. So anyway, I ended up breaking even. <laughs> it's not bad considering all the waste that happened, so... Gonna hit me? Seriously? <laughs> People in this game have some serious attitude problems. <laughs> uh, all right. And so we're almost done with the field here. And I've also filled up the mowing trailer. I'm gonna go, uh, once we're done doing this, I'm gonna bring these two trailers back. Trailers. <coughs> I'm gonna sell off this load at the train station or at the. Actually, I think I'll take it to the weed farm because I think that. Not the weed farm, but the. The other one, the bakery. I think that's what it's called. Hang on. Flower. Yeah, the flour mill. So I think they pay more for it. And so I'm going to take that over there and sell this off and then take these two uh, units back to the, uh, the farm and be done. What's this guy doing? Why isn't he going? Okay, there we go. So we'll be done with the harvesting for the day. Oh, this is full, that's why. Okay, well, we'll just leave that in the harvester for now, and I'll, load, I'll unload it at home. So. so he's all done, so we'll get all that back, and we'll finish mowing and feed the sheep, and we'll buy some sheep and then feed them. <laughs> so, cool, see you in a minute. Oh, and just to rectify the blinker situation, the hazards, uh, I was driving home from a service call today, and... Uh, Sure enough, there was a tractor going up uh, Route 3 by my house, and um, he had his lights going. <laughs> he had his flashers going when he was on the road. So uh, they do, at least here in America, they do use their, their hazards. So that's, a, I, that's so important. But <laughs> Now, I'm going to keep it on for this part. I've never actually been this route before to get to the, um, wherever is it? Wherever it is we're going, the flower mill. I've never gone this route before. So, we'll pretend like that was covered the whole time so they don't see it. <laughs> not that it's a freshly harvested, so not that it really would matter, but some foreman or something would be like, hey, your trailer's not covered. We're going to have to take some money off. Cool, so that's the back way. That's neat. Probably end up doing that more often, huh? All right, there comes bazillions of dollars. So there goes all the barley. The barley is gone. I think the next crop tomorrow we're going to plant canola. And um, sell that because you don't have to stop the harvester as many times. Um, you don't get as much yield, but you get double the pay. You know, barley, obviously. Whoa. 
uh, goes for a lot more money than the regular grain. So even though there's less of a yield, it also um, you have there's less stops with the harvester. So, and you make just as much money. It seems like. All right. See you guys in a little bit. Day four is almost complete. Um, we'll be turning in early today. It's been a busy day and a busy couple days, and obviously had some uh, issues and bad decisions made, and hopefully some better decisions uh, coming in the near future. So off we go.